A warning tonight about organised crime rings stalking our suburbs and stealing cars for scrap metal. Authorities are so concerned about the emerging theft for scrap rackets, they've launched a special operation targeting those responsible. Stolen for scrap. It's a new generation of, of how to steal cars and how to dispose of them. Car parts are becoming a million dollar industry for criminal groups who are going to extreme and dangerous lengths to get what they want. We know that they are becoming more and more sophisticated. We are seeing an uh, increased number of, of house burglaries where the sole purpose of the burglary is to steal the keys, to steal the car. Last year in South Australia, almost a thousand cars disappeared without a trace. Car thieves are no longer simply changing an ID on the car, re-registering it, non-selling it to an unsuspecting buyer. They're actually cannibalising the cars. Most of the vehicles targeted are more than 10 years old. The most popular for thieves, the Toyota Hilux, manufactured between 2005 and 2011. That's followed by the Holden VT Commodore and the older model of the Toyota Hilux, made between 1998 to 2004. They're a very popular car and there also is a huge demand for those in overseas markets. 60% of thefts happening right in front of the owner's home. Police say the best defence against theft is to have an immobiliser fitted, particularly if the vehicle was manufactured before 2001. Although many of these cars are valued at, say, less than $5,000, it's the owners of those types of cars that can least afford to lose them. Jessica Stanley joins us live from the Crime Stoppers call centre in Angus Street. And Jess, what are police doing about this trend? Brenton, authorities are so concerned about the emerging uh, theft for scrap rackets that they're holding a special phone-in operation tomorrow. Members of the public who may have information that could help police are being urged to call 1800 333 000. Extra officers will be on hand to take calls and people can remain anonymous if they wish. Brenton. Great. Thank you, Jess.